back at the Assad regime after that horrific chemical attack on children and deepening America's involvement in Syria's bloody six-year civil war. We expect to hear from the president shortly. He's at his estate in Florida, but we understand it was a cruise missile attack against an airfield in Syria. Chief White House correspondent Hallie Jackson is standing by. Hallie, what are you hearing from there? A significant moment, Lester, for President Donald Trump. A strike, as you mentioned, against an airfield in Syria. No known casualties at this point, although we are still waiting to get more information as it's coming in now. The president, of course, moving forward on this as he is here in Palm Beach at Mar-a-Lago. He just wrapped up the first day of a summit with the Chinese leader as he holds this kind of crash course in crisis management here. We understand that there has not been an official good night yet. What that means is that we may yet hear from the president about this latest strike, Lester. All right, Hallie, thank you. What we have here, at least 50 cruise missiles fired at an airfield, the Asharat military airfield. This is believed to be the same base that launched the airplane that dropped the chemical weapon so that uh, has injured and killed so many civilians. Richard Angle is standing by now, right now. Richard, you have, you're a veteran of, of these sorts of things, over 50 cruise missiles. What's the, uh, characterize this for us, if you will. This was a fairly limited strike. Uh, it was very specific. Uh, what we saw was these cruise missiles, Tomahawk cruise missiles, more than 50 fired from the Eastern Mediterranean on the same base that was used, according to the U.S. military, to launch the chemical attack, a symbolic attack not likely to impact the regime. Richard Engel, thanks. There's continuing coverage on MSNBC. We'll be back on the air as events warned. For now, I'm Lester Holt, NBC News, Los Angeles.